Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know guys, it's been long that I have updated my last videos and you know, it's been long. I know guys, but in this video, we're going to talk about iOS 15.2 developers beta 4 and sorry for not uploading videos on these many days. I had some personal issues. I have already updated to my community tab. So thank you so much if you are a subscriber and thanks so much for bearing with me. But make sure if you are a new watcher, then I will be uploading regular videos as I used to do on iOS beta updates and iOS updates and many more Apple stuff. So if you are interested, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Now coming back to the topic in this video, we're going to talk about iOS 15.2 developers beta 4. So straight to the point. So this update came in about 508.8 MB on my iPhone 10R. Yes, I am running iOS 15 beta softwares on my iPhone 10R. So if you are running iOS beta softwares or beta series of updates, then you would be able to see iOS 15.2 developers beta 4 so in this video let's talk about what's new what are the bug fixes with ios 15.2 developers beta 4 and also let's discuss about the existing issues with ios 15.2 so let's discuss all about this in this video so without further ado let's get right into the video and also if you're watching this video and enjoying then definitely give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing now with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section. As you can see, if I tap on the software version, it clearly says it's iOS 15.2 and the build number is 19C5050B. And as you can see, the model name says it's iPhone 10R. So with this update, I still see the letter B at the end. So it still means that we are uh, we might get to see one more build of iOS 15.2 beta softwares before we get to see the public release or release candidate or there's a possibility Apple might direct release iOS 15.2 release candidate. Now let's compare. I had taken a screenshot before updating. As you can see, the build number was 19C. 5044B and after updating the build number has become a 19C5050B and talking about the available space before updating it was 27.6 GB and after updating it has sort of decreased 27.19 GB now mind it this is an iPhone 10R and before updating the modem firmware was 4.02.02 and after updating there is no change in the modem firmware now i've heard that if you're having one of the newer iphones iphone 13 or iphone 12 you might get to see a new modem firmware so modem firmware is something that is always device dependent so make sure to check and check back if you're having a new modem firmware because uh, when i'll discuss about this ios 15.1.1 i have been facing a lot of issues man with network connection Activity, then you have to toggle on the airplane mode and and then get out of the airplane mode to fix the network issues so I'm really expecting a good modem firmware on my iPhone 12 so that's that's the update as of now with iOS 15.1.1 but now taking a look at this update iOS 15.2 developers beta 4 there's nothing new as such i could find as uh, talking about the new features although there were a couple of youtubers i follow they talked about when they open fitness application they got to see some new splash screens and things like that although they have mentioned about the notification summary how that have got updated although that had got worse but still that's something to talk about but i don't use notification summary so let me know in the comment section if you do use notification summary and is there a change in notification summary now talking about the most important and most discussed topic battery life so let's have a look at the battery life so if i click on the battery life before we talk about the battery life and discuss about the battery life let's get to the battery health part so as you can see the maximum capacity is still 89 percent so if you're not aware i have been using this iphone for more than three years now and you know i love this iphone 10r this has been my primary device for very long time but you know just it's just few months i have started using the iphone 12. so before updating the capacity was 89 percent and after updating the battery health hasn't dropped on me it's still 89 percent and one of the things i always keep on reminding you guys there are so many misconceptions that if i update to the latest ios my battery health would be dropped or something like that 
so then again i will just repeat myself one more time that battery health or dropping battery health doesn't have to do anything with the ios updates it just rechecks the physical capacity of the battery now over time batteries are something that are you know supposed to degrade over time so definitely if you're using your iphone your battery health will go down and that's pretty normal now at what rate it will go down whether it is going down at a drastic rate or if it is normal that is what your focus should be now talking about the battery health as you can see it is pretty much evident from the graph and the screen on and screen off time that i don't personally use this uh, device as my primary device anymore as i was speaking this is iphone 12 and i have been using iphone 12 as my primary device this is a device that i use as my secondary device and for testing purpose but then again i uh, would say i was not able to make videos for you know for a couple of days and in between i have updated to ios 15.2 beta 3 the last video i made that was on ios 15.2 beta 2 i had noticed a degrade on battery life from ios 15.2 beta 2 to beta 3 i hope ios 15.2 beta 4 fixes that and as you can see these are the applications weather widget as i said this is not my primary device but just the basic application that i used to check uh, time to time so these are the applications that i used to check and um, this is the screen on and screen off time so if you're interested in like the performance of the battery life so then let me know i'll try to make a separate video on ios 15 point two developers beta four battery life so not only developers beta profile if you're using a public beta profile also by the time you're seeing this video ios 15.2 beta 4 should be on your device now again there's a point to notice if you are on stable updates like if you are on ios 15.1.1 this update is definitely not for you you need to have beta profiles installed either the developers or the public beta profile on your iphone in order to get this update now if you're not able to see this update make sure your phone is up to date and connected to wi-fi network go to settings go to general and you know you know click on software updates if you're still not able to see the updates then click on this automatic updates make sure to turn this off and turn this back on then again check you should be definitely you know getting ios 15.2 developers beta 4. now talking about the performance as i said before with every ios developers beta the performance is getting refined and, and we have you know reach such a stage that there are no such issues at least with the performance if you're having newer devices like iphone 10 10s 10s max iphone 11 or 12 so performance wise there's no much not much of a change that i could notice so in this video i just wanted to let you know that i have received ios 15.2 developers beta 4 update on my iphone 10r so let me know in the comment section whether you are one of those who uses ios 15 developers beta updates or public beta updates or you are you know just among the folks that uses you know stable series of updates like ios 15.1 or 1.1 or still waiting for ios 15.2 let me know that it would be pretty interesting to know which segment you belong to so that would kind of give me an idea that you know whether people are more excited about the new features or they want stability so then again i hope you like this video give this video a thumbs up and then again i would be regular and and with that note i'm signing off and i will see you on my next video Bye bye